I'm Peter Block for On the Scene here in Chicago at ACC 2016. With me is Michael Shohat from Israel. And Michael has just reported on a fascinating trial in which he describes a new technology which will be, uh, hopefully, will allow us to monitor patients with congestive heart failure with lung impedance. Now that sounds very complicated, but I've just talked to Michael and he's explained it to me, so I'm gonna let him explain it to us. So Michael, tell me first off what lung impedance is and how you measure this. Impedance is a kind of measurement of a lung fluid, and if uh, is a more fluid in the lung, impedance is going down, and it may be a very sensitive, traditional scheme, though not enough, not enough sensitive, but in our case, in, in this trial I'm going to present, we change a scheme, we know to differentiate between chest wall impedance and lung impedance, and our technique measures exactly lung impedance. It means our sensitivity of this method is something close to 25 times more than all existing technique today. Okay, so the lower impedance, the more fluid, short version. Yes. Okay, tell me about the trial. Trial was done uh, during uh, four years with 256 patients. It was single blind randomized two center trials. One group was treated according to lung impedance and second group was treated according to classical uh, clinical assessment. And we found that impedance treatment reduced heart failure hospitalization within the first year of trial by 58% during the entire period of monitoring by 56%. Also important that all kinds of hospitalization were reduced by 39%. And additional important po point that uh, heart failure death was reduced in monitored group by 62%, and all cause of mortality reduced by 43%. I think it's a very, very, very important result. So, uh, fascinating results, very important differences. The trial is extremely positive, and a non-invasive way of evaluating pulmonary edema. Looking forward, do you think patients will take this device or these devices home? Our goal to bring this device at home of patient and uh, make a telemonitoring that uh, his uh, uh, physician may see the result of uh, lung impedance at his office and know if its patient is stable and can continue his current treatment or uh, treatment must be adjusted. Well, uh, we have non-invasive uh, evaluation and monitoring of pulmonary edema. Now that is a step forward.